Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Seven days a week, 365 days a year, the Gurley family is up and at work before dawn. They've been breeding greyhounds since 1961. And twice a week, they take a dozen or more dogs to a nearby practice track. Do you know every one of those dogs' names? I do. Here the dogs are eager to chase a lure. Five of the dogs running this day are in rehab. Rob Gurley watches as they run one by one down a short stretch of track. You can watch them this way and, and uh, for the most part, see that whether something's wrong or not. This year, voters will decide whether greyhound racing is banned in Florida. Supporters of Amendment 13 call it a cruel business. The dog dies on average on a Florida track every three days. We know they're confined, these are words from the industry, from 20 to 23 hours a day. But the girlies say there's nothing cruel about what they do. I've got this camera, and if it breaks, I buy a new one. Do you view dogs like that? As... No, no. That's one of our big our big uh, jobs here is to rehab the dogs. Gene Gurley says it makes no sense to treat the animals with anything but love and respect. If you were raising corn, if you don't fertilize it and weed it and water it, you're not going to make much corn. And it's the same principle with anything like this. Right now, there are about 130 dogs here. Usually there would be more, but they've stopped breeding until they know what happens November 6th. The amendment gives track owners until 2020 to phase out the sport. Hope. But the amendment also says there's no penalty for stopping dog racing January 1st. In rural Madison County, I'm Mike Vasilinda.